This is Tina. Tina's busy, like you. She's got her hands full, but she makes time to recycle. Her building, probably like the place you live, has a blue recology bin for recycling, right there next to the garbage bin. Easy. But where should Tina's apple core go? If she throws it away, this is where it ends up. That's Tina's apple core, right there. When organic materials like food scraps and yard trimmings go to the landfill, that creates a number of adverse effects. You may not know that in landfills, a lack of oxygen slows down the decomposition process of organic material and results in the production of harmful greenhouse gases that fuel climate change, like methane. If, instead, Tina throws it in the green bin, it makes a huge difference. Unlike landfills, Composting significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions. It helps sequester carbon. Composting also improves water retention, helping farmers save water while enriching the soil. It puts nutrients back into the food we eat, so things like apples are more nutritious. So when you put your food scraps in a recology green bin, like the one at Tina's place, or like the one you'd find at work, in restaurants, and at all sorts of places, you set in motion a process that helps fight climate change then Recology takes it from there. We've been leading the way on composting for decades. Every day, more than 2,500 tons of compostable material arrives at Recology facilities up and down the West Coast. And we turn all of that organic waste into nutrient-rich compost. Here's Kirk Steed from Recology to take us through our composting process. First, we grind it up. This increases the surface area, so it all composts faster. Then, we use a series of screens to refine the quality of our compost. Next, it goes into an aerated static pile. This is basically a vacuum system. Aerating helps keep the material at the right temperature and circulates air to reduce odor. After about 60 days, the material is tested to ensure it meets all requirements. Once it passes all testing, the compost is ready to go out, mostly to local farms, vineyards, and orchards. Think about composting from the perspective of Vila farm owner, Matthew Engelhardt. This is just one of the places your compost goes and your food comes from. Farmer Matthew and his crew use compost all over Vila farm. They use it to grow cover crops that sequester carbon. They use it to help conserve water and to improve the quality of the food they grow. We treat soil like dirt, but it's way more important. It's where all our food comes from and all of us eat. So we ought to honor soil and how we can do that is by recycling our food waste and making compost. If we want a world without waste, that's within our grasp, but we must make composting part of our routine. Thanks, Tina. And thank you for composting. Mm -hmm.